Hi guys. I'm trying to get a little setup here because I want um, a different background. Oh God, that's not correct. I'm sick, sadly. Why is this straight? Cool. Should I have the light on? Oh, we don't like that lighting. I'll bring my ring light. I'll be right back. Oh, all right. <sighs> don't have words right now. Okay, so hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I haven't filmed a video in a really long time. It's been like a month already. I am very inconsistent. I, think I mentioned that in every video, but I know it. Like I know it. I just suck. Today, I decided, okay, I have to film a video today. It's already been a month and I put up a poll on my Instagram asking you guys if you would rather see a hair tutorial or um, a get to know me video. I knew the hair tutorial was going to win though, um, but a lot of you actually surprisingly voted for the get to know me, which surprised me because I'm boring. So, um, yeah. Um, I'm gonna do the hair tutorial since I have work in a little bit and I have second day hair. I come with tools. So yesterday I bought or invested um, in a dry shampoo. Now I've tried dry shampoos before and um, the ones I bought were from the drugstore and I don't really feel like they did anything because my hair was still like really oily. Um, so yeah, those didn't work out for me. And then if I did ever, um, go out with second day hair, the night before I would put baby powder in my hair and that works. It works, but like you have to, in my opinion, I feel like you should put the baby powder in your hair the night before that way you can sleep in it because if you do it the day of, your hair is going to look white as fuck, which you don't want. We're just testing that out so far. So good. Um. She feels not oily. This is the dry shampoo I got. I just got the sample size, um, the Living Proof, the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. I'm gonna be using this hairspray. It's the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Touchable with Argan Oil Hairspray. I really like this because it's not like I can put a lot, and my hair doesn't feel crunchy. So this is like my fave. Yeah, I'll use a Tresemme heat protectant, but I don't have that with me. I never do my makeup first. I always do my hair first. So yeah, you guys are getting a bare face for this video. What I do is I part my hair just once. I don't have, I mean, I'm not bald, but I don't have a lot of hair. Oh my God. Ugh. Um, This curling iron, it's from Conair and I bought this from Target. It was like 20 bucks. These are really good. I've had this for about like what five years. Really what I do is I take about this much of hair, put the wand like this, like so, and then you just wrap it. Well, you just wrap the hair around flat. I could definitely like just like do it messy and then like like not care and like twirl it and not care if it's flat but personally i think it's better if you wrap your hair around the wand flat then i just keep it on there for like 10 seconds 10 15 seconds just like this flat and then wrap it around hair split into two parts um with the bottom layer i usually won't curl like all the way from the top i prefer to like curl like starting like right here and then I just curl the bottom half that I love my hair looking long as well when I curl it rather than it being short like up to my boob I want it still longer than that Top part. I usually leave um, the bangs for last, so I just 
part this and leave this out front. Same thing, just this time you're curling all the pieces straight from the top. My hair is so long now that like, it basically wraps around the whole wand. I'm sorry, I'm like terrible at explaining everything. Basically what I was like trying to say is with the last two pieces like the front parts of my hair on each side i will separate them into two sections and then the right side of my face with the first section i will curl it outward and then with the second section i will curl it inward just because i like how it frames my face and then with the left side of my face i don't really care i just curl both pieces outward um i don't know why I do not like how this last piece looks when it's outward. That's just me. You guys don't have to do that. I just feel like it looks... I look better with that one piece curled inward. Yeah. I just finished curling all of my hair. I usually wait a little bit to shake out my curls. I keep the curls like this while I do my makeup and I let them cool down. I'm gonna do that right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the camera and go do my makeup real quick, and then I'll come back and then shake out my hair. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh look, my nails are black. Okay guys, I have my makeup done now. I'm literally running out of time. It's 1.50 already. Um, I had to do my makeup like in an hour. I'm like really surprised it even came out kind of good. All right, so I take off the clips and my hair is all cool now. So I just put my hands in here and then I just Shake it out. After this, I do spray a little bit of hairspray. So I just put all my hair to the side and then I just spray and then I scrunch it up because we want volume. Voila. That's gonna be all for today's video because my battery is at 21%. It is dying and I do have work in a little bit. I recently hit 10,000 subscribers. I now, I believe, have 11,000. So thank you for that. I appreciate you guys a lot. Um, thank you for watching my videos, even though I'm very inconsistent i am going to be doing a giveaway for the 10,000 subscribers i do not know what exactly i'm going to give away but if you guys um have any ideas you can definitely drop it down below on the comment section um i'm not too sure if you guys want makeup again or i don't know i don't know um yeah i might do makeup again it's up to you guys um, so yeah, if you have any ideas, definitely comment down below, and then I will put the curling iron and this down in the description for you guys if you guys are interested in purchasing any of those. But other than that, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.